Okay, welcome back to One Piece Anime Review, episode 151. This will be the 934th episode of the anime, A Big Turnover, a three-store style overcomes danger. Yep, this one pretty much finished adapting chapter uh, 937, that page is 15 and 17, and starts adapting chapter 938, starting page 2, and on page 9. Now, the whole thing with the whole thing with the titular thing with Zoro versus the Street Slasher, that's actually pushed until toward the end of the episode. And that takes up pretty much the last three pages of chapter 937 and goes to, I think, about the first, uh, it goes, starts page two. I think it's wrapped up by page five, I think it is. Yes, about at least four or five. Yeah, I think it's a good sequence. Now, there's actually, now, I should point out, though, the opening the opening theme of this, uh, that was used for the series, since probably since the start of the one arc, the one dream, one wish, this is this is his final episode. Yep. With this episode, that opening theme was done. We're getting a brand new opening theme next week. Looking forward to see what it is. One thing the series has kind of abandoned is ending themes. Yes, they for some reason don't have ending themes anymore. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what episode they was when they discontinued those, but a lot of anime I have watched generally have an ending theme. This is the only one that doesn't have one. Because as soon as you finish the episode, go straight into the preview for next week's episode. Yep, that's how it's been for quite a while now. Now, because of the fact this one covered roughly like 11 page of material, is there any additions here? Yes, there are two additional scenes here. Now, there's about several different scenes this episode. First off, let's start with Luffy, where he's still at Udon, and he is basically battling a bear man. Guy with devil fruit. And he beats him in less than three minutes. Yep, it's a really brief sequence. And the only addition they made to this episode actually was a couple of additions. One acts makes sense and it relates to another scene in the episode. And then we have in the flower capital, we have a couple things going on. We see a sequence that actually is not from the manga. We see a Richie grieving over the death of the courtesan. Yep. This sequence is actually complete anime original. And we also see Basil Hawkins and Extric looking for Subman and any people who associate with the rebellion. Because apparently they found out about the symbol and they're looking for and they're basically arresting anybody who's got the crest of the moon. And this leads directly into the final the the other portion of the episode where it features pretty much most of the straw hats. Maya's Brooke for some reason. Yeah, he's still missing. Yeah, he's missing for quite a while, and I'm like, okay, where the heck is Brooke? I mean, you have, in this sequence of the Straw Hat, minus Luffy and Zoro. We, we know what those two are. Okay, we have Sanji, Usep, Frankie. San, we have Usep, Sanji, Frankie, Nami, and Robin. Along with Subaru, Kinemon, Kendru, Dogstorm is in the scene. Yeah, they're actually in the Bandit Village now. And the sequence that ties in this one, we see Yosuke, who is Otama's father. Yeah, this is a little bit later. He just picks up the, the paper and goes straight to the village. Yeah, this the, this actually makes perfect sense because if you're in the manga, like, wait, how did he, where did he get that paper from? The episode five, it's the question, he just randomly finds it on the ground. Okay, that's perfectly fine. And he recognizes, and he sees Nami, I'm like, oh, are you a goddess? <laughs> he's, he's like, yo, stop it. Yeah. Any boy can easily point out that Nami's hot. But what about Robin? She's hot, too. But yet, Nami gets most attention when it comes to guys staring at her because of how hot she is. Not much for Nika Robin, though, for some reason. I have no idea why that is. <laughs> and mostly, put, we just have Subaru and... and Trafalgar Law arguing back and forth exactly who was the one who leaked the information. She thinks it's one of his crew. And he thinks, no, they'd rather die than talk. And we have this build up basically of seeing like what what's going on with Sanji's face, because his face is kept mostly hidden. Yeah, this sequence, this whole thing of the way his face looks, yeah, in the manga it's like, oh, that's what happened to it. 
in the end, they kind of build up towards, yeah, apparently Nami, as punishment for peeping, punched him in the face, looks like about 20 times, to make his face look like a big giant ball of basically bruises. Yeah, that's Sanji for you, also with a big fat lip, too. Okay. Oh, don't worry, he heals up perfectly fine. Also, now, you, know, you probably think, okay, what about Chopper? He's not in the sequence. Well, he's off with Big Mom to go liberate Luffy, so he knows where he is. The only straw hat we don't know who where he is is Brooke. Also, Carrot is in this scene, upset by this. Now, I'm hoping that Luffy takes her as permanently part of the crew, because I love Carrot, because I think she's a great character. I wouldn't mind if she becomes permanently part of the crew. Yep, and now we come to the sequence the the episode was building up to. Basically, Zoro's three sword style, the danger thing. We continues battling the street slasher, who is an assassin for Orochi. And it's a really good fight sequence. It's a lot more extended than it is in the manga, where the manga it's like just, I think it's about five pages, like five, six pages. This takes up a good, like, almost ten minutes. Yeah, I'd say about five to seven minutes this takes up. It takes almost half the episode this does. And they fight for a pretty good period of time. And during the fight, the Street Slasher stabs Zor with his sight after he get distracted by the other guy he was trying to go after. And he takes the, the, the scythe out. He prevents from the other guy from taking it back. He puts put, put the scythe in his mouth and does the three sword style. The woman, I won't reveal who this woman is. Where he goes, oh, it's a three sword style. And he just takes it, the street slasher. And then the weapons collector, Gunjiro, just picks up the guy's scythe and walks away. Also, we have the woman and Otama. I know it's Otama because she smiles. And they race over to see Zoro, who is pretty much collapsing. Which, in the manga, this was actually at page 5 of chapter 938. Yeah, it's interesting that they put this sequence toward the end of the episode, while the rest of the episode is still taken from page, like, 6 to 9. Yeah, roughly four pages they have for pretty much the rest of the episode. All in all, great episode. Looking forward to next week, which will finish up this chapter. Mm -hmm. And probably start chapter 939. Yep, so yeah, that's it for this particular review. Stay tuned for our next review, which is going to be Case Closed. Yeah, I almost forgot I was going to do this review today. But I realized, oh yeah, there's a chance release to say. So there's that. And then bar till and then back to doing re reviewing One Piece. Okay? But to this next video. Bye.